Hello YouTube, a lot of you are probably going back to school this year, so here are a bunch of Mac software for students. I've broken them down into these different categories, and I'm doing this live. So any mistakes? Sorry. <laughs> Let's start with class notes and the one I use the most is notebooks especially if your professor totally writes on the board and they write a bunch of equations and formulas and and graphs and images well notebook does handwriting recognition well it lets you write stuff on the application if you have a Wacom tablet and you can put shapes in there you can create outlines you can drag images in there you can also just use it as a normal word processor you can also do sticky notes and there's just so many features on this the only downside is probably the learning curve on learning how to use all of these features but a super super simple application when it comes to taking notes is Omni Outliner you can create quick outlines and you can stylize, I don't know if that's a word or not, but you can create styles depending on the indentation level. So let's just say a parent is colored blue and a child is colored red and a son is colored green. You get the point. You can also create templates if you have the pro version, though that is a little bit more expensive. You can also get student discounts from the Omni Group website. And I am actually a huge fan of Omnigroup, so I'm going to be talking more about their software later on in the video. So, book notes. So you're done your class, you go home to, or to the library, and you're going to take notes on your, on your books. Well, what I use the most is Mental Case. It lets you create cue cards or study cards, and you can add images and audio into those cue cards and study cards. You can then sync those cue cards and study cards to your iPhone and iPad if you buy their application. And... It also lets you schedule. Let's just say you have something due in a month from now and you want to you want to study it before then. Well, what it would say is I you know, study this 2 weeks from now and then study this 3 weeks from now and then study these this 3 weeks and 4 days from now, you know, that kind of thing. So, they actually have a specific, you know what? I'm going to keep going because <laughs> I'm starting to bumble, ramble, ramble, bumble, <laughs> math type. What does this do? It took me a while to find this application, but what does it do? It creates this. That's right. This was the missing link I was looking for for a very, very long time. It is friggin' expensive though at a hundred bucks, but you can get a student discount for it. What does it do? It creates math equations. I forgot, I forgot to mention what it does. It creates math equations. But it does have a learning curve to, you know, to create this nonsensical thing that I created here on, on the left-hand side. And you can actually use keyboard shortcuts, which is why I love this. Now, you can use latex. You know, I'm getting a little bit too nerdy here. But you can use latex and type your stuff out, you know, by hand. But it just takes forever. So I prefer these keyboard shortcuts. Also, it works with most applications. So let's just say you have pages open or Microsoft Word or any other application, actually not any other, but a lot of other applications out there, this will work with it. Next up is Omni Graph Sketcher. What does this do? Well, it creates graphs and it's super easy to create graphs and I use it for my econ classes and they actually have a student discount from the Omni Group website. Writing applications. Let's get it started with IA Writer. A lot of you guys probably already know about this. I'm not going to talk in depth about it, but I really, really like how it's super simple. And it is a word processor for those of you guys that don't know. It, you have a really nice, clean UI. I typically use this to write my roughs and my drafts, and then I use pages to write my final paper or research papers. And if you guys don't know what Pages is, welcome to the Mac universe. Welcome to, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know who out there doesn't know what Pages is. Anyway, <laughs> let's keep it going to organization. I am actually a productivity buff and I use a lot of software. Well, actually, I don't use a lot of software, but I use expensive software for organization because this thing is $40 on the focus. For those of you guys that don't know, it, it is seriously $40. It's super expensive, but it is priced competitively if you want to buy things or a lot of other um, GTD apps out there. Also, I like how it syncs with your iPhone and your iPad, but you have to buy those versions and they are expensive. You can get a student discount from the Omni Group website. <laughs> Next is MindNode Pro. What does this do? It, it lets you brainstorm stuff. So you start with a blank sheet and then you just, just 
press enter and keep typing and enter and keep typing. It's kind of like an outline, except in a mind map. Um, image, blah, 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 blah. I'm starting to mess up, but I'm going to keep going. <laughs> You can add images and media, and what do I use it for? Well, if a teacher says, you have this project to do by this time, I typically sit down in front of my note and I just dump everything in my head into it, and then I use that information and I organize it, and that's pretty much how I organize a big project. So I organize that and I transfer all of that to OmniFocus or OmniPlan. I suggest that you enable Smart Layout, and it's under view if you go to view and then enable smart layout because it took me a while to find this button but you'll thank me if you have this there's also a free version that's a little bit limited but it works next up is OmniPlan. this is just the most expensive application that uh, that i have here and it creates gantt charts if you guys are not nerdy enough to know what gantt charts are skip this one this is a little bit too advanced it's meant for businesses but i actually like using it because you can export stuff in csv and you can look at the statistics but more importantly it actually schedules your day for you so i put in all the stuff that i need to get done this semester and it says you need to get this stuff done today or else you you it'll be way too late so i really really like that you can also get a student discount from the Omni Group website. Though, I mean, student discount on a $200 application, that's quite, uh, that's pretty, that's still pretty steep. And now presentation. Um, a lot of students out there have to give presentations and I actually love giving presentations. I have, I get high marks when it comes to these presentations and I use Keynote. To create them i've actually created this presentation with keynote and it's super super easy and it actually looks good also i use pixelmator to create any images for these presentations and i also use it to do math calculations just you know whenever i'm working my math and i don't have a piece of paper sometimes i do that i don't use a piece of paper i use pixelmator and i just write absolutely everything down on there it's a really really nice application for doing roughs with when it comes to your math stuff it's also comparatively cheap when it comes to photoshop but here's the one thing that bugs me there's an undo bug in there so that if you keep undoing it'll like crash and it will slow things down so yeah but other than that i love this application Next is Sketch. This is what I use to create vector images. And what are vector images? Here we go. Actually, I can't, I can't find a vector. But if you look at the top right hand side on one of these applications, there's that, that student discount um, thing. I created that using Sketch. It's super easy to, to make stuff. And it makes your presentation look a lot more professional if you make stuff yourself. And lastly, when it comes to presentation stuff omni graffle it creates organization charts if you don't know what org charts are don't worry about it you can also do vector art in omni graffle so you can submit all your formulas and sketch stuff and all that stuff bring it into omni graffle and create like just a huge mind map of what the chapter is i usually use this when it comes to um Let's just say there's a super complicated chapter in your book and there's a lot of formulas and graphs and things like that. Well, I import all of them into OmniGraphle, I organize them into this neat looking thing and I print it out and I have a piece of paper that I know for sure that right before the exam time or right before a test time, I look at this piece of paper. That's what I use OmniGraphle for. And you can get a student discount. Oh, that's gonna get old pretty soon. <laughs> and other software. What are other software? Text Expander is one of those other software. You don't absolutely need this, but if you're taking notes, I suggest it because you can write that, you know, delta alpha squared like that. And all you have to do is type it out in simple English. You do have to set things up beforehand, but yes, I, I created this delta, delta alpha squared with just my keyboard. And yes, it expands text. And lastly, Dropbox because you should back your stuff up. <laughs> That's pretty much what it's for. I mean, it sucks to work on something and then have your computer crash and, and you know, that was like 20 hours worth of time put into a paper gone because you didn't make a copy of it in Dropbox. And that's it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Good luck with your quest, your scholastic quest. I'm starting to break down. All right, I'm going to stop now. Bye-bye. <laughs>